guys okay so it is friday afternoon it is the 21st of october and i am just about getting ready to go on my flight over to manchester if you didn't know welcome to my channel my name is barbara it's friday as i say the 21st of october it is currently quarter to two um, I'm just waiting for Aaron to come back from work at two o'clock and then we're gonna take a wee road trip up to the airport and we're flying over to Manchester for the next four days and we're going to a horror convention called For the Love of Horror and it's just gonna be amazing it's gonna be amazing to be away just for four days it's gonna be amazing just to spend some time with Aaron on my own and it's gonna be amazing to be able to get some reading in while I'm on the flight and on the transport down to the hotel and all that good stuff so what I wanted to do was was just bring you a I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it as a full four day vlog from today or I'm going to upload dailies when I get home if that makes sense because there's gonna be so much footage I am planning to take so many videos and so much footage of the actual horror convention and I don't know if this would just make it into like an hour an hour and a half sort of video for four days of a vlog so I'll work out what I'm gonna do whenever I get there but I just wanted to come in and let you know that that's what's happening this is what this vlog is about I'm really really excited but I'm really really terrified because I don't like flying and the anxiety that I'm feeling right now is just I'm like this guys I am like this I'm so 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 scared to get on that plane but I'm also really really excited to be going away so we can't lose sight of that at all so you're probably saying to me Barbara you know this is a book channel what are you going to be reading when you're away so I'm going to give you a sneak peek as to what I'm going to be doing over the next four days and we're going to talk about the books that I'm going to read now okay so before I came on to film this intro, the Amazon delivery guy came to my front door and he knocked it and he said, I have a parcel for Barbara, Barb, and that's me. I have not ordered anything and I opened it because purely because it was really, really wet. It's absolutely lashing outside and he had left it outside for me and it was soaking wet so it was sort of coming through onto the book so I had to open it up but one of you kind humans someone out there I have put it on every social media platform that I have ever been a part of someone gifted me Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Cesar is it? I don't know how to say his surname but I now have Clown in a Cornfield in my possession, a brand new paperback which was on my wish list and I only ever had on my Kindle before so I have it now. I do not know who got me it so that I can say a huge thank you. I literally squealed with excitement because it's October, it's spooky season, who doesn't love reading about clowns? And obviously if you've watched any of my um, previous vlogs I had got Clown, Clown in a Cornfield 2, Friend Lives um, on release day a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago now and I never obviously got to read it because I haven't read Clown in a Cornfield. So I now own both of these beauties. Look at these, aren't they just beautiful? Oh my gosh, look at these, oh my. So what I'm gonna do is, is I am going to take them with me and I'm gonna do an author spotlight and I am gonna read Clown in a Cornfield and Clown in a Cornfield 2 over the next four days and I'm going to probably scare the bejesus out of myself but really excited I've got loads of room in my backpack I'm just packing at the moment I'm going to dry my hair and get myself sorted out so there isn't going to be reading done on this side of the flight but once I get up to the airport and I get situated and settled and through security and all that good stuff I'll come back in and have a chat with you and hopefully my anxiety levels will be a wee bit lower because I'm just a wee bit too excited because I'm just a wee bit too scared so that's what's happening hopefully you will stick around and you will enjoy this I cannot wait to meet all of the actors that are due to make an appearance over the next well Saturday and Sunday and yeah I'm gonna do a lot of shopping hopefully Aaron has said to me we'll go and look for bookshops and we're gonna to go to the Trafford Centre and it's just gonna be amazing so yeah I'm gonna go and get ready I'll check in with you guys when we're through security and we'll see what we're getting up to because I want to go into WH Smith's because they usually do um like a deal on their books for buy one get one half price so I might just have to treat myself as like a wee pre-travel gift we'll see how we go but yeah gonna go now I'm rambling on because I'm just I'm just my anxiety ridden um I need to go there's my phone going a ding or orange text to me so I'll see you on the other side guys when I get to the airport
talking if he's not films and even such deep, definitive movies. I think the right, it's the right age, the right time. Yeah. And so, like, when DVDs first came out, But I'm gonna to get to my mind in first, if that's okay. Yeah, of course. Um, and then we'll just we'll just prep. Sure. So primarily, with it being for the love of horror, there's a lot of people. Who... Hello, sir, with the Candyman T-shirt. What is your name? My name's Chris. Big welcome to Chris, everybody. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> Chris, can you just say on camera that you're not gonna sue us? <laughs> I'm not gonna sue anybody. <laughs> Anything that happens to you is entirely your own decision. <laughs> Anything that happens to me is entirely my decision. <laughs> we all we all witnessed we all witnessed this. Yeah. Well, we can't do it with the shirt on. Get it off. <laughs> Just pull it up. Pull it up. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> you ready? Stand on this side, here you go. Yeah! Yeah! That was not a great one. The main thing about a chop is don't hit the nipples. <laughs> you alright? <laughs> you gotta work them. You're doing great. You should be on the shot. So I've just come home to this, not a publisher meal, and it's all publisher meal, so can't wait to crack into it.
Okay guys, hi. Okay, so it is Monday. It's 20 to 4 and we get home at about half two. Um, we landed back in Belfast at one o'clock this afternoon, but unfortunately it took nearly an hour for the baggage to come over onto the carousel. So we only just got home. I got up a quick bite to eat. We've put some washing on. Did a wee bit, get a bit of cleaning around the house. And I just wanted to update you before I end this vlog with the fact that I received two pieces of publisher mail. So I'm going to go ahead and open these now very, very quickly. I know what one of them is, but I don't know what the other one is so very exciting indeed and then we'll chat about my weekend and how amazing it was okay so i'll i'll open the one from pam mcmillan i think this is from black crow um my very favorite publishers in the whole whole wide world um it could be anything so i don't know what it is if i can get into it she says oh this looks good let's see oh okay yeah, I remember asking for this one actually. Really excited for it. Um, it's the origin, Origins of the Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan, which is obviously probably something to do with the Wheel of Time series. Uh, the legends and mythologies that inspired Robert Jordan. So this is out on the 10th of November. It says, a must-have book for the millions of fans of the books and television series. Take a deep dive into the real world history and mythology that inspired the world of Robert Jordan's The Wheel of Time. Origins of the Wheel of Time is written by Michael Livingstone, Secretary General of the United States Commission on Military History and Professor of Medi Me Medieval Literature at the Citadel. The Citadel class. Um, it says this companion to the internationally best-selling series will delve into the creation of Robert Jordan's masterpiece, drawing from interviews and an unprecedented examination of his unpublished notes. Michael Livingston tells the behind-the-scenes story of who Jordan was, how he worked and why he holds such an important place in modern literature. The second part of the book is a glossary to the real world in the real, real Wheel of Time. King Arthur is in the Wheel of Time, Merlin too, but so are Alexander the Great and Apollo Space Program and the Norse gods and Napoleon's greatest defeat and so much more jordan has come to dominate the world tokyo began to reveal this sounds absolutely amazing so it seems as if oh my god i've just looked inside oh oh my sh look up oh okay where do you see these end pages um okay hold on yeah it's the same on the other side as well look oh my god like black crow are just how often do i say it best publisher i've ever worked with in my whole entire life so yeah i now own this one it is out as i say on the 10th of november so no doubt i will be reviewing this one on the channel so that's the first one i got let me just pop it here and then i'm just going to open this one from tandem so basically um i received an email last week asking me inviting me onto their vip read long so basically what that means is is if you know what tandem is they um sort of offer read longs for book reviewers and booktubers and all that good stuff and when you join one of their read longs you will receive the book and you will receive sort of um sort of uh, place cards for each different um sets of pages and then they'll ask you specific questions about what you've just read you'll then post it on social media and just get all the buzz going and sometimes you get extras um in the parcel as well just that correlate to what you're reading um and i've actually been invited to vip and chat with the author um imogen thomas of this one let me just show you it first of all and then i'll explain to you oh look what we've got yeah more post-it notes we always get post-it notes i love those from tandem and um, this one is called An Unwanted Inheritance by Imogen Clark. So basically what we've been asked to do is it's sort of like um, 10 or 15 of us um, in the group who are VIP in for this book. And basically we are at the very start. So we're going to read the book by I think in around the 7th of November is when we need to read it by. And then we're going to chat with the author and tandem on a Zoom call um, around that around that time that week. And we're going to choose the PR packaging that goes out to anyone who is taking part in the read along afterwards. So I'm going to be there from like the very start and I'm going to be um, given loads of ideas on questions and sort of things to send out with all of the packages and all that good stuff. So how exciting is that, guys? Um, this is... 
353 pages so I'll read the back of it because I don't really know what it's about um, but thanks to Tandem this is going to be amazing. Uh, from million copy best-selling author Imogen Clark comes the story of three siblings and a suitcase full of cash. Will the unexpected windfall tear them apart? When their father dies unexpectedly siblings Max, Ellie and Nathan can't even contemplate emptying his house not least because he spent his last day's cut decade creating what feels like a museum just polished public image so it's Max's wife Caroline who finds a suitcase under a bed a suitcase stuffed full of an awful lot of cash the source of the money is a mystery to them all and each has a strong opinion what to do with it Ellie and her husband James have an expensive lifestyle to maintain and could do with their share of the windfall James in particular for reasons he doesn't dare reveal Nathan can't be trusted with money as the others all know he's just putting his hands on some or all of the cash but Caroline is the one guarding the suitcase and she's insisting to Max that they take it to the place Three siblings have always been close, but now with this money from nowhere threatening to rewrite what they thought they knew about their father and their family, nothing seems certain. Could it really tear them apart? So I'm actually from a family of three. I have a sister or brother, and I reckon if this happened and I find a stash of money underneath the bed that belonged to my dad, wow, I wonder what would happen. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be reading over the next uh, few days. I might actually crack into it um, and start it this evening um, on my reading sprints, on my weekly reading sprints for Camp Crystal Lake because I want to annotate and make notes and just be ready for the um, call with the author Imogen and Tandem themselves. So how exciting is that? I am so... <gasps> Imagine being on a VIP read along with Tandem. I mean, does this mean that I've made it in the uh, book bookstagram and book reviewing community? I don't know. So guys, I've done really well today. I came back to two lovely books from the publishers. So Black Crow, Tandem, thank you so much as always. So for now, I'm going to go and get ready. It's time to go and get the big sun. It's time to go and get Novak and to say I'm excited is an understatement. Okay guys, so it's now a couple of days later. We managed to get Novak and we managed to bring him home and he's really settled and he's really happy. He had an absolutely wonderful time at Jennifer and Andy's, so that was a relief. I'm just coming in to wrap up the vlog. It's now Wednesday and I finished Clown in a Cornfield and I've actually got to page 144 of The Second Friend Who Lives. So I'm going to continue on this evening and read that and hopefully finish it over the next next couple of days. But that's not going to be in this vlog. I just wanted to give you a glimpse into our weekend in Manchester. What I was reading while I was there and a wee bit of the horror convention. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and this vlog. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Pop a comment down below and let me know what you thought. And yeah, just thanks for watching. It was a long video, but we had a really, really brilliant, brilliant time. So I'll chat to you in the next video and take care.